We're about to do a local fish store tour. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are in Boca today and we are at Barrier Reef. We're about to do a local fish store tour. I've never been here before. I just recently found out about this place, so let's see what they got. This is what I'm thinking we're gonna have to upgrade to in the new house. Something like this for sure. Should we put one of those in the nano tank? Might be cool. Look at these guys, how dope they are. They're just chilling in a little in a little pack. Hello, how are you? My name is Bianca. Yo, look at this one. Wow, that fish is crazy. Such a pretty fish, it's like a sunset. If I've ever seen a sunset in a fish, it's that one. They got the dry side over here, all the goodies. Ooh, cloud tank. This brings back uh, memories of the rain tank. This is an adventure. I don't know what I'm gonna find back here. Ooh, little baby tank. 30 bucks, a little beta tank? Hey. We don't have any beta fish yet. Should we get that little tank? Maybe. Maybe a beta fish coming soon. This thing's pretty cool too. Little baby tanks. I like baby tanks. All the fish food. They got they got all the dry stuff, the normal dry stuff. Let's go to the other side. If you guys are new here, hit that subscribe button to the notifications on. We got new fish videos every single week. We're gonna check out the fish side right now, but I know he said they're running low on fish. However, they do get, he told me a thousand fish a week and they sell out by Sunday, which is crazy. Think about how many fish, like a thousand fish in a week? That's insane. Love a good clownfish. Oh, a little mini miniature lionfish. That thing is cool. Look how little it is. The mouse got like a mustache. Check out this tank. It's kind of, I have like a love-hate relationship with the round tanks because they look so cool in terms of like outside, but sometimes you get the warp of the glass, which could be a little wonky. All right, now we're on the, we're on the good side. We've got all the, we got some orders in here coming in. Look at that. Oh. We get them in as Not in a fish tank. I eggs. Just... Oh, these are the ones that hatch against the wall? Yeah. And that's what they hatch into. The eggies. How long are they in the egg, uh, so their shells? Normally, uh, incubation period is between three and four months. You can scrape off some of the algae that's along the side of the egg here. Yeah and you put it up against the light and you can see it on the inside moving around. So cool. So usually when they lose their sack is about the time that they're going to hatch out the other end. They pretty much just chill like that, like just hang out? Yeah, so they get a little bigger. How big do they get? Uh, about three and a half. Three and a half? Holy moly, crazy pattern. You can kind of see, like, looks a little shiny too. So cool. He's chilling over here now. Actually, this is a smaller one. Yeah, that's a smaller one. The other one was bigger. Is he gone? Oh, maybe it is him. He just looks different. It's actually the first time I've seen one of these hatched. I always see them like in their little, whoop, whoop, their little uh, cocoon shell. So seeing them out and roaming around is pretty cool. In person, obviously I've seen them like online, but yeah. Anyway, they're cool. This is the one I got in my tank. It's thriving. Unfortunately, I am too far from home right now and I'm not going straight back to the house, so I can't pick anything up. But I can still show you guys what's up. Oh yeah, those are cool. How, how would these go? Like, uh, can they go in a mixed reef or no? Like they'll mess stuff up. No, they won't bother. They just clean the sand. Look, so they I'm, go under. They submerge under the sand. We gotta get a big tank for one of these and just have them running free in here. Woo! Look at that little guy. That thing looks crazy down there. Giving me the creepy crawlies a little bit. Oh yeah, and by the way, this month we're gonna be giving away one of these three gallon nano tanks to one of you guys. Entering the giveaway is free and easy. All you have to do is like this video, subscribe to this channel, and comment down below. The giveaway entry window will close January 31st and the winner will be announced on February 3rd. Now back to your scheduled program. Don't forget to enter guys. I haven't seen the peppermint shrimp in weeks. Those things went into the tank and they disappeared completely. Never saw them again. Never saw this guy again either. All my shrimp just disappear, man. They disappear. Ran into one of the homies from the channel, Max. What's He's up? a saltwater tank <laughs> out here in Boca at Barrier Reefs. Appreciate you. You know what I really want to get? I want to get one of those cowfish. Boxfish, cowfish, they are so cool. I haven't looked into them, so I'm not sure like what they need. I know people have thrown them in like mixed reef, so they should be all right, I guess, but I definitely gotta do some more research before getting one, and I'm pretty sure they need a bigger tank, so maybe that will be in the new house build. And uh, yeah, that would be freaking awesome. So I'm imagining if they get a thousand fish a week that these are just completely full 
uh, when they get their fish and then by Sunday it's probably looking like this pretty down to the wire. Look how cool these things are. That's super unique. I like this orange one. Oh, the Nano. I gotta pick up another tank like this, but I don't wanna pick it up unless it's my original tank. Probably like a year and a half ago, I was on, I don't remember if it was OfferUp or Facebook Marketplace, but I came across my same exact BioCube that I had sold years before. Like it had my same, I had built the stand and it had my stand and it was my tank and it was for sale. It was kind of sad because it was a bit run down already, but I messed up. I should have bought that tank back. That would have been, I think about the YouTube video for that, you know, like buying my first ever reef tank back, like super, super sick. Ever since then, I realized that I messed up and then I have notifications on now. So if that second person that bought it ever listed again for sale, we are going to pick up my original reef tank because I feel like it just has to be brought back. It just, like now I'm in this real deep. So the only way we're going back BioCube if it's my original tank. So I'll bring that back to the fish house eventually. Hopefully the person, you know, you figure the lifespan on a, typical reefing person that doesn't go in way deep is like three years and then they get sick of it and they want to sell everything or three years and then they sell it and go bigger hopefully they got to upgrade pretty soon you know it's a small tank it was only like 16 gallons so hopefully they want to upgrade in like you know I don't know the next year or something and then we'll, we'll scoop it up and I think the first guy had it listed for like 100 bucks with the stand and everything it was like dang that cost me more than 100 bucks in wood to build oh look at this guy this is how big that snowflake eel gets no, we can't put this in the tank, guys. No shot. We're gonna have to wait to put this in a tank by itself because I I see this thing just destroying everything in my tank. This one reminds me of the the, the boy that rolls around in the bubble, like the bubble boy. Another massive freaking tank. Here's a closer look at the uh, bamboo shark eggs. They said if you if you hold if you hold them up to the light, you could kind of like see them in there. Here are these things again. <laughs> I love that they're in packs. But wait, there's more! Freshwater side of things, look at how... That was pretty. There's tons of freshwater fish. These are pretty cool. Woo! Those are dope. When I get a freshwater tank, I'm gonna have to have, like, cool looking fish. I don't know, you freshwater people might say that these aren't cool fish, but they look cool, so they're cool in my book. And then all these little fancy tails. By the way, if you guys are new here, hit that subscribe button, turn the notifications on. We got new fish videos every single week. Once we get more into uh, the freshwater side of things, I'll showcase a bit more of freshwater fish and whatnot. But right now, I don't really know anything about them, so don't want to share any crazy knowledge. Cigar. I think it is, right? Gar, 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 gar. Yeah, I used to catch those all the time in the lake across the street. But bigger than that, they were huge. It feels good out here, nah, 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 nah. Actually, it's really freaking hot. I'm sweating right now. But felt good to get into a new store tour. I'm always used to going to the same spots all the time. So seeing a new store was pretty cool. Don't forget to shop the merch. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Later. Sunshine. Everybody loves the sunshine.